Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price. We're also going to have a look into Ethereum and also into the DXY. All right my friends, let's start here in the 4 hour time frame because yesterday we had here this sell signal in the 4 hour time frame. I told you that yesterday I was closing my longs here because it looks like that this big pump that we have seen here in the last couple of hours is potentially over and we're going to start here a little pullback or maybe some sideways movements before we gear up again for another big move to the upside. So with the data that we collected so far, we can see that Bitcoin retraced back to the nine moving average here in the four hour time frame. And you can also see that the 20 moving average right now is at $43,300. So if we're going to see a rejection right here from this consolidation symmetrical triangle that we're forming here in the four hour time frame and going to break out to the downside, we most likely come down here to test this important moving average which is holding usually during an uptrend as a very strong support. And I'm also still waiting up here to open up some new long positions over on Bybit and Femex because I first want to see a four hour close again above the nine moving average, even better above this symmetrical triangle here. We have a clear resistance here at $47,000. So as soon as we're going to close four hour candles above $47,000, I'm pretty confident that we will see here continue to the upside and also gonna get here a buy signal in my own indicator because you can see that the momentum to the downside is not too strong and usually when we don't have such a strong momentum to the downside we continue to go higher very quickly without a bigger retracement so if we're gonna see here a rejection at this price point I think we could come down here to test the 20 moving average in the four hour and latest there most likely we're gonna get the buy signal so we can then long again and continue to go higher towards our target of $60,000. Also here you can see that we had some initial resistance so I think it is very likely that we could come down here to test this $43,000 to $44,000 area before we gear up again towards 60,000 because even though here in the lower time frames we could get a pullback at the end Bitcoin will go towards 60,000 very very soon because also the bigger time frames are looking very very bullish we can also have a look here again into the daily time frame because even though we are still looking a bit exhausted here you can see the RSI in very overbought condition and also in my own indicator we are coming very close to being overbought and here always there is a high risk to get a sell signal but so far we're still shifted to the upside and even if we're gonna get here a sell signal we maybe just come down to test it a 9 or 20 daily moving average here at 41,000 and the 20 daily at $37,000 before then we're gonna have another bounce to the upside so all time frames are very bullish and we should expect bitcoin to go towards 60,000 way higher in the next coming days and weeks but of course if you're trading with the leverage over on Bybit or Femex you also have to give a very close eye on on the lower time frames like the four hour for these little pullbacks that we sometimes have on the way to the upside so we're gonna have to wait here till we're gonna have a clear four hour close above or below the symmetrical triangle to then decide when to open up along because if we're gonna start to close again four hour candles above 47,000 I'm pretty confident that this was already the little pullback the little sideways movement before we gear up again for another big leg to the upside and you definitely don't want to miss out on the next big parabolic move so if you still need an account over on Bybit and Femex, make sure to use my referral links down below here in the video description. With those links, you will get some extra money. And of course, you also support the channel. And if you don't want to trade yourself with leverage, then maybe try out Prime XPT because over on Prime XPT, we have this co-vesting feature where you can easily copy trade other traders. So here you can easily without KYC, register to the exchange, put some Bitcoin here, and then just click here on follow on the traders that you would like to follow. 
and now let's switch over into the ethereum charts my friends because here we're gonna see something very similar like bitcoin here in the four hour you can see that we are also here closing four hour candles above the nine moving average in the four hour which of course is very bullish and also yesterday we had for the first time four hour closes above this important resistance here at 1770 dollars right now we're pushing higher and i think it is very likely that we're gonna see two thousand dollar very very soon and ethereum is still in this upwards trending channel so two thousand dollar is right here at the resistance of this channel so if you see the price going higher than two thousand dollar that will mean that we are starting to break out here from this upwards trending channel and if we are able to create a support above two thousand dollar if we are starting to consolidate above two thousand dollar then i think also here we're gonna see big fireworks to the upside which could take ethereum very easily towards three to four thousand dollar within the next coming hours and days so this possible big breakout here to the upside in my opinion will be depending from the next move that bitcoin is gonna do if bitcoin is gonna correct a little bit more maybe also here in ethereum we could come down here to retest the support area at around thousand six hundred dollar before then we're gonna have another bounce to the upside but if Bitcoin is going towards 60,000 and I'm pretty confident that also here in Ethereum we will go way higher than $2,000 because 2000 right now is still right here at the resistance of this channel and if Bitcoin is going really parabolic towards $60,000 then also here on Ethereum in my opinion we will go to way higher levels and we can also have a look here into the daily time frame because also the daily is looking very bullish same like in the bitcoin chart we are trading above all the moving averages and the nine daily moving average so far is holding as a very strong support and as long as the nine daily moving average is our support we should expect also here ethereum to go higher and higher even though of course we're still a bit overbought but this is usually what we're seeing always during an uptrend so both bitcoin and ethereum are looking very bullish my friends and now we will go and switch over into a very bearish chart this is the dxy because the dxy is again crashing after getting rejected here at the 100 daily moving average also here in the past when we had this breakout here this false breakout we got rejected here at the 100 daily moving average then continued our bear market and here once again it looks like that we are getting already rejected here so the dxy is very very weak my friends and i think here we also going to continue to crash lower and lower because as you can see we're closing again uh, daily candles below the nine and even 20 daily moving average and although we got here a sell signal in my own indicator and even the rsi now is dropping below the 50 level if today we're gonna close below the 50 daily moving average at 90 dollars very very weak the us dollar index my friends and uh, yeah here in the four hour you can see that we are touching now the 200 moving average we could see a bounce maybe here maybe a short lift bounce that maybe could indicate that here in the bitcoin price we're gonna see this little correction down towards the 20 moving average in the four hour maybe even worse go towards the 200 moving average at 36,000. but i'm pretty confident that even here if we're gonna lose this support at around 44,000, that we're just gonna bounce here at 43,000, right at the 20 moving average. So overall, my friends, all the fiat currencies are looking very bearish, especially the US dollar index and uh, the cryptos, of course, are looking very bullish. So that's why I feel very, very confident to sit here with some nice bags of cryptos. So congratulations to all the hodlers, especially if you're holding most of your money in Bitcoin. So let's see what will happen here in the next coming hours. As soon as we're going to get here a buy signal, I will scale in some nice long positions here on Bybit. If I am on the computer, I will also inform you over on Discord. So make sure to join also our great Discord trading chat. We have a very great crypto community over there. If you want to join our completely free chat, then make sure to use the official link down below here in the video description with this invitation link you can get access for free over on discord you just have to go here to the read first channel and then confirm that you are a human by clicking here this thumbs up button and then you have access to our great discord trading chat and this is also the place where you can get access to our live stream indicator for a little donation of course like this you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin in different 
time frames all right my friends i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you again very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and also hit that like button very much appreciated thank you again very much and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye